Well, there's been some exciting news developing for those of us who are unhappy with Kathleen Kennedy's leadership of Star Wars and wanted, you know, Disney to do something about it. And it looks like they may, according to prominent movie vlogger Grace Randolph. For those of you who don't know, Grace Randolph runs this channel called Beyond the Trailer, and she did a video a little while ago saying that she had a source who works at Disney and Lucasfilm who told her that Bob Iger, the guy who runs Disney, wants Kathleen Kennedy fired and was about to fire her. But here's the thing, he can't find or couldn't find anybody in time who wanted to take her job. Apparently, like everybody that they approached to be the new head of Disney or the new head of Lucasfilm didn't want to do it. <laughs> Apparently, you know, they're just like the Star Wars, the state of the Star Wars franchise right now is in such disarray and it's so precarious that they're afraid to take it. You know, they don't want to be attached to something that could be going down in flames, I guess, <laughs> more or less. That's basically what she said in the video of hers. I'm not going to put any screenshots or clips of the video in this video because I might get in trouble. So I'll put a link to Grace Randolph's video below in the description area if you want to find out more about it. But that's the basic gist. So, you know, if her source is correct and Grace Randolph, you know, knows what she's talking about, that means that Disney is aware that there's a problem with the Star Wars fan base and with Kathleen Kennedy's leadership of Star Wars, and they are possibly going to do something about it. But, you know, it does look like Kathleen Kennedy's still going to have that role, but Episode Nine might be in trouble because according to Grace Randolph's source in her video, it's too late, I guess, to tweak or save episode nine. J.J. Abrams is going to take charge of episode nine and Kathleen Kennedy's leaving it to him to, you know, handle it, giving him full creative control. So that means that if episode nine doesn't work, I guess he'll be the one, well, she'll get the blame too, but I guess he will. So it's up to him to fix or not fix the Star Wars, you know, franchise. According to what Grace Randolph heard, a lot of the, the standalone movies are indeed going to be on hold, like we heard, except for the Obi-Wan movie. That's the one character whose standalone movie they actually want to do, because they realized, and you might say, well, duh, Lucasfilm and Kathleen Kennedy, that Obi-Wan is a character, a popular Star Wars character whom people want to see a movie about. And when I heard that in Grace Randolph's video, I was thinking, well, of course, I mean, you didn't know that. Further proof that Kathleen Kennedy is out of touch with what's going to work with Star Wars. You know, she decided to make a movie about Han Solo as the first standalone, and nobody really wanted a Han Solo standalone movie. They didn't think they needed one. Not that people didn't like Han Solo. It's like, we don't need a Han Solo solo movie. I mean, that character, already, he's just not the best person for that right now. We would want someone like Obi-Wan. And of course, the Obi-Wan standalone is something that she put off, you know, to do later after Han Solo. Again, proving that she's, not the, she's just the wrong person to handle this. Now, there are articles saying that... I saw an article a little while ago that's saying the Obi-Wan movie might be put on Disney's, like, the streaming service that they're going to launch and not in theaters. I don't know about all that. But the next standalone movie they do might be Obi-Wan, and I think that's a good decision. So what does this mean for Kennedy? Well, this means that, you know, all lives are on her to perform. She's either got to figure out a way to rescue Star Wars from the mess she's made, or she probably will be out. I mean... Another failure, unsuccessful movie, and I think Kathleen Kennedy is going to be done. Bob Iger will figure out something. Even if nobody else wants that job, he can't have someone in charge who's going to, you know, make the sinking ship sink even faster. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it on YouTube and subscribe to the channel because I appreciate your viewership and I will talk to you soon. Bye!